Hang on, hang on. I, I didn't have a chance to set the SAP video for this morning. Allow me to go to the, the YouTube Creator Studio. Uh, what the heck? First dark and darker video, uh, limited ad suitability. What's the, what's the reasoning? What's the reasoning? Swear words in the first 60 seconds. What? With mouth and sips? There's no way. There's no shot. That doesn't seem likely to me. You know, I probably said I'm a, I'm a cunning pianist or something like that. And then Google's new Bard AI feature was like, oh, hang on. He's dirty talking. Oh, she loved to get down with dirty talk all the time. Don't hummy. It's from Judd Apatow's uh, best movie, second best movie. The 40-year-old normal guy is definitely a movie. I mean, okay, Rotten Tomatoes, the 40-year-old normal guy. It has an 85 on Rotten Tomatoes, 84 from the audience. Has, has any movie in history ever, ever reached highs like that? Both the, it's a critical and a, a consensus darling. Every other movie is like Star Wars The Last Jedi. It's like 82 tomato meter, 6% audience score. I side with the tomato meter, by the way. How about IMDb, the 40-year-old normal guy? Score? 7.1 out of 10? I mean, it's, it's solid for IMDb. It's also the 905th most popular movie on the platform today. That's up 47. Probably because of the fact that I literally just Googled it and clicked on the link. That's my guess. Okay, hang on. The video is called We Needed This One. The thumbnail should be called Super Auto Pets Feb 7 2023. You're going to add it to the playlist. You're going to uh, set it to public. You're going to add an end screen. That's a good idea. Just calling every Super Auto Pets video, we bought a zoo. Then you click on the monetization tab. And you, you oh, this is a long, this is an over 30 minute video. You could definitely squeeze in one here and one here. Your video SEO sounds awful. That's good. I don't want people to discover my videos through Google search when they're looking for something like a, best air fryer recipe and then they end up getting sucked into a video that's like I uh, give $15 to the first 10 homeless people I see you won't believe what the last one does and the last one is an actor who then gives the money to another person and it it reaffirms your faith in humanity but at the same time you're watching and you're going I don't know this person seems like they might be an actor like the reactions are just a little bit I don't know. That's all I'm saying. It's like, why was the camera placed so nicely? What's your honest opinion on hint of lime tortilla chips? I am um, always pro tortilla chips. I'm on a tortilla chip diet. Um, when I see tortilla chips, I eat them. They would the first hint of lime tortilla chip though hits amazing, and then every subsequent one, you're like, what? Why does every one of these taste like a sour skittle? Man, that's so much better. I'm on a tortilla chip diet. When I tortilla chip, I eat it. It kind of works. I know that this is... Um, I mean, none of my takes are, are new at this point. But... Um, the, the, the thing that always blows my mind is that you can get better tortilla chips than Tostitos. Don't get me wrong. However... Why are the multigrain Tostitos so much better than the other Tostitos? The other Tostitos, they, they don't puff during the cooking process. But the whole grain Tostitos, they puff. They puff and it, it, they, they blow your house down. The house being the flimsy expectations you had that whole grain food would taste worse than refined flour food. All whole grain tastes better. I mean, I would honestly get down with that idea. It definitely took me like a little bit to, as like a 15 year old to get used to whole grain bread. Now, 
eating like store-bought refined flour white bread is like it doesn't even feel like a it the uh, the own there's two uses okay toast is fine or also a grilled cheese sandwich that's the preferred medium for either of those well it's not the preferred medium for toast but it's the preferred medium for for a grilled cheese for sure otherwise well it, it, listen because now maybe maybe peanut butter and jelly but i haven't eaten the peanut butter and jelly sandwich in a while eat some peanut butter I, i'll eat a toasted peanut butter sandwich from time to time if i have no meat in the fridge how do you take your blts i don't really i don't are you weird about PB and J's? Europe can be kind of weird about it. What do you What do you mean Europe is weird about a peanut butter and jelly? It does strike me as a um, as a very American sandwich. We don't do it in Europe. That honestly, that doesn't surprise me. Like I grew up with PB and J being like a normal sandwich, but um, I could totally see, like, if you didn't grow up in that environment, being like, what the hell are you talking about? Like, for lunch, you put peanut butter and, and like, grape jelly on a, on a sandwich and eat it? It is a little weird when you think about it. I'm not against it, for the record, but, uh... Wait, I'm from Australia and I've never eaten peanut butter? Is that common? Is Oceania not on the nut butter train? Or, or maybe they... Maybe they have the hazelnut butter or something. That's common. We don't... You know, every once in a while, I think, like, um... You know, the world... Because, listen. You ever watch, like, a movie from the 1960s, 1970s? And, like, someone travels from America to Paris or something like that. Or they travel from America to China. Or they travel from America to Argentina. And everything's, like, so different that you're actually immersed in, in what is, to you, a novel culture with novel customs and so on and so forth. Nowadays, it's, you know, you land at the airport, you're like, oh my god, they don't have uh, Starbucks in the airport, they have a coffee bean. Oh my god, they don't have coffee bean, they have Pete's. This place is totally different, but really, like, fundamentally, there's... They've, they've become a little bit more similar. I'm not saying the same, but they, you know... You're, you you can get kind of a similar experience many places you go on planet Earth. But I, that, I didn't realize I was uh, laboring under a false pretense. I didn't realize there was still differences regionally to the extent that Australians don't eat peanut butter. Although it might just be one to two people in my chat. I don't know. Anyway, let's, <laughs> let's start the SAP casino. The rumors of the casino... Demise are very true for Hitman, but they are not true for Super Auto Pets. Was today a hardened lungs ride? You know it. I don't. I don't want to uh, brag. Go be a naughty boogeyman real quick. Um, and Bluth Banana. There's always money in the banana stand. Thanks for the gifted subscriptions. Um, I did a. I did three 30-minute rides at uh, like 168 watts consistent the whole time. So I did 90 minutes at what I guess would be like six, two thirds of my estimated functional threshold power. It felt good, man. It felt good to just be just be grinding them out. Got a lot of thoughts questions today, and honestly, I'm I'm here for it. Thoughts on chicken nuggets versus chicken fingers? I don't know. It, it must be something in the in the geometry. I'm not against a nugget, but a chicken. I mean, a chicken. Here's, here's my power rankings, okay? Bottom of the list, chicken fry. Then chicken nugget. Then chicken McNugget. I don't know what they're doing in the, in the, the, the part that adds the prefix, but it elevates it above the average chicken nugget. Then I would say chicken finger. Then I would say chicken tender. And then I would say chicken strip. And strip and tender, sometimes they could go, they could battle it out. Rubbin is racing up at the top there. They're trading paint. But in terms of like what they do with the uh, processed chicken in, in finger form, then I would say that that's my list. What the heck is a chicken fry? Don't insult me. That's, uh, I, I didn't invent the chicken fry. That's intellectual property of, of Burger King, uh, 
Restaurant Brands Incorporated. It is a chicken, it is processed chicken meat in a French fry form, but like it's, it's deep fried. I guess French fries are too, but it's battered. I don't think a chicken fry is, is very good. That's just my two cents, so I'm not trying to make any enemies. That is true. It's crazy. It, it, it really says something about society, in my opinion. That chicken fry, everybody goes, what the hell is a chicken fry? Chicken finger, everybody's like, yeah, I know what that is. Don't be stupid. Were chicken feet a thing in Korea? Oh, yeah. I mean, they're a thing in the sense that, like, in the same way that, like, Canadians eat poutine, people ate chicken feet in Korea. But it sometimes whenever... I feel like YouTube gets people, like, the wrong idea sometimes. You know, like, similar to Canada, although people do eat poutine here, it's not like it's, uh, you know, a fundamental part of the Canadian diet. Like, some people maybe eat it once a week if they're in high school or play, like, you know, middle school sports or something like that. And some people eat it once every 10 years, and some people, like my parents, have never eaten poutine in their entire lives, as far as I know. Similarly, in Korea, when you go out to a Korean barbecue place, you might be able to get dakbal, which is chicken feet, but it's not like every table's like, hey, hey, can we have some more dakbal? It's not unheard of, but it wasn't like, wasn't insanely common, I would say. I also think, and I, I felt bad saying this. I, I said it to, I think it was Rob. Because he was like, oh, I watched a video on like Korean spicy chicken feet called Dokbal and it looks really good. And I had to tell him, I was like, it's mostly just, um, if you'll forgive the, the parlance of the haters. By the way, I'm getting my ass kicked. This, that's not lost on me. <laughs> Unfortunately, maybe freeze this for just a second. Thank you! Call me crazy. I'm taking my stats right now because it also helps out our dragonfly. Okay, and unfreeze this. Um, it's basically just spicy sauce with... Uh, the, the chicken foot itself provides almost nothing of value to the, to the equation. It mostly just exists. with club sauce. Lioness is the only way I've won this weekly. If I could give one piece of advice to the, the sap gamers who are having a hard time getting 10 piece, 10 pieces, I should say, um, you should play the game on Sunday and Monday. If, if you can work around your week to play on Sunday and Monday, you will get so many wins, your head will explode. I've actually, like, the way that weeklies work now, like, the power curve gets so crazy past, like, Tuesday, Wednesday. I try to record seven videos of the weekly on Monday, Tuesday. And then I fuck off for the rest of the week. I go outside and I take walks. I run errands. I make appointments and stuff like that. I answer important emails. Like, and then, like, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, it's better for my mental health to not play SAP. Because everybody's, and myself included, is just optimizing towards the, the builds that win. There's no creativity on, on Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Occasionally you run, but it's even worse if you run into a creative team on Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. You're like, oh, this person is actually the greatest player of all time. I'm about to get my ass beat. They're running like four chickens and uh, like a level three turtle. And you're like, this team looks like ass. And then, you know, your team's all dead. Their team still has three chickens left. You're like, oh, well, nevertheless. This is a really, really strong team for turn 15. Like, this is... <laughs> I mean, we're not guaranteed to win, but it's looking pretty good. I, I don't think a Cobra is stopping us. You tried. You tried. There's no doubt about that. That was a great start. I've been laughing thinking about Gen Z names for movies. The follow-up to I Know What You Did Last Summer, it's honestly, like, so messed up what you did last summer. Okay, like, the, listen, the joke's getting there, but here's the problem. As a millennial, that's how millennials talked when they were Gen Z's age. Like, if, if you teleported me back to 2004 and someone said, it's honestly, like, so messed up what you did last summer, I would be like, that sounds contemporaneous for what my generation's vernacular is. I, f I feel like um, a Gen Z, I know what you did last summer, 
would be like... <laughs> I mean, there's no way to... The, 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 you will never sound older than when you try to imitate the younger generation. It would always be like, you know... I say... I'm sus for what you did last summer, for real, no cap. Or my favorite Judd Apatow movie, the, the 40 year old normal guy, Gen Z's title, The Boomer with No Riz. Anyway, we got 10 piece there, pay it out. <laughs> How many wins will we get on this run? I said The Boomer with No Riz. I'll be like an illegal puppy, like when Johnny Depp and Amber Heard tried to take their dogs into Australia without a permit. My god, we won round one. I mean, I guess the dogs weren't illegal. It was just illegal to have them in Australia. Probably because the dogs love peanut butter so much, they're like, they're not welcome there. This is a callback to earlier. I don't know if we talked too much about the peanut butter stuff at the start, <laughs> at the start of this. So far, so good, man. <laughs> Magpie could have saved the gold? For what purpose, Chatter? For what purpose? You could have not spent two gold and then had two extra gold for the next turn. For what? Well, you know what? Now that I think about it, I guess there is... I'm, I'm, let me pull out the whiteboard. You would get a free reroll from the shop next time. Yeah! I never really thought about that. So if we got to two gold and we didn't like what we had, we, instead of re-rolling, you save the two gold and you get the re-roll and then, yes! Oh, okay, I apologize. Okay, fine, fine, I apologize. Isn't it crazy that LeBron James just set the record for most points all time in the NBA when he's like not even good at basketball? <laughs> I'm just... Trying to make people upset, I guess. Is he better than me at basketball? Yeah, I would say... Two out of three days... LeBron James probably beats me in one-on-one. -on, -one. on that third day... I think maybe we get one over on him. Yeah, you guys are forgetting I'm... I'm eight foot seven. Literally, I can't dunk overhand because I'm so tall. I have to dunk underhand. My old coach, Steve Kerr, said it was the craziest thing he'd ever seen. I can't believe you spat out a 3-5 yak, you piece of crap. LeBron probably has an ass cycling output. I personally would be surprised if that's true. <laughs> my, <laughs> my guess is that LeBron could probably... I'm not saying he would beat me on the Peloton, but I think if you gave him like three months, it wouldn't even be a contest. I'd, he might beat me day one, but if you gave him a reasonable amount of time, he would, uh, I, I think that his cardio is probably pretty good. And also his muscle mass and also the simply the morphology of his body. The fact that he's got a lot more leverage being like a foot taller than me. Probably also, like, I'd have to guess he's got maybe 80 pounds on me or something like that. That uh, There's a lot of... <laughs> there's a lot of things that I, I personally think probably point to LeBron being in a better position here. But I'm, I might be mistaken. Buddy, he's one of the most athletic people ever. Are you talking about me or are you talking about LeBron? Because I feel like it could go either way. You, of course. All right, I'm glad. I just wanted to make sure, because I almost got, like, a little upset there for a second. We're going to... Listen, you're getting leveled, and then... I, <laughs> I don't know really what... We're, we're going to use you to level, and then we're going to make sure we get the level on turn five, then we're going to sell your ass and replace you with a dragonfly, which will inevitably be the unit that we get from that level. From said level. Okay, that's a strong looking team. I give you some credit, Soup1888. It's a great year for Soup. Was it? I wasn't born yet. No, not a good year for Soup. I don't know, listen. I can't be expected to have a knowledge of everything that happened in every year. I feel like 1888 
Nothing's coming to mind as like this was a, a horrible period for history relative to the other periods that it's surrounded by. 1860 to 1865 wouldn't be thrilled to be there in the United States at least. That's the Civil War. 1812 wouldn't want to be around in North America. I think that's uh, wouldn't be thrilled to be there. It would have been sick to die in like 1926, though. Well, let me think about that for a second. <laughs> let me th I'm just thinking, I'm like, ah, you get to be old during the Gilded Age. You die right before the Great Depression. You do have to go through the First World War, but you're too old to be drafted, at least. It's not like there was like, you know bombs being dropped on i guess maybe there were some dirigibles or something dropping ordnance on people but i think it's certain like it within human history probably the best time to be born was like 1950 as if you were if you were born in the united states on january 1st 1950 you've had a great run You've enjoyed, at least on a national level, on paralleled economic... Oh, I guess you'd have to get, you'd get drafted for Vietnam. Okay, that's a good point. Um, how about 19... Uh, <laughs> what if you got born in 1958? 1958? Now we're getting closer to my own birthday. 1997, goaded year to be born. I honestly, Listen, I'm not disappointed with a 1988 birthday, but for, for us, for people our age, the jury's still out, I think. I'd probably take 1988 over, over 2038, but I don't know. Maybe, maybe that'll be a, an idiotic take. They'll be posting that and dunking on me like long after I'm dead. This guy thought the earth was going to get worse. He didn't realize that when you're born now, they just insert a VR chip into your brain. You live your whole life in the metaverse. What the hell am I talking about or doing <laughs> best type of nut honestly i'm a peanut guy i know that some people might consider it a little too base it's crazy to me that like yeah, oh that's true cashews are really good i might have to give the cashew a little bit more credit it's crazy to me that Almonds cost more at the grocery store than than peanuts. I guess I, I must acknowledge that it's based on production cost and not exclusively like demand. Like an almond is not bad, but it's so much worse like per price than peanuts. Peanuts have the luxury of being tastier and also being more economical. It's a very groovy combination, baby. When I was 15 and a moron, I thought calling an armor, an armadillo an armored dildo was like the funniest thing ever. You're the same person who was talking about Gen Z movies. So I, for real, that thing that you did last summer was messed up. It's like you're really, you're, you're working through a lot of material right now. <laughs> I support it, you know, you gotta bomb a couple of times, I'm sure, before you can really, uh, before you can truly pop off. You gotta, yeah, workshop. I'm not, I'm not denying your chance to workshop. There could be a next. There still could be a next. What did you, you swallowed a taper? What the fuck is happening? I'm dead. <laughs> Dude, that's a really creative team. They, were, they created, like, a, a swarm of German Shepherds. I've, I haven't seen the big brain team yet. That's good. There's not nine wins. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two. Who said that? Nine gang. Nine wins. Rodrigo 0x99. Slash user Rodrigo 0x99. 194 messages in chat, following for a couple years. It was a typo, I swear. 
Where's the button that says, turn this person into a suspicious user? But in some ways, like being a suspicious user is actually a benefit because it means all your messages get highlighted for me. So I, I opted not to do it. But I thought about it. I thought about it. I don't have buyer's remorse on my smartphone the way I have buyer's remorse on my HTC Vive, my Gen 1 HTC Vive. You think I don't remember you, HGHTRHGJBZT? This is the same person who ran that German Shepherd, shepherd build. You want to become the Billy Billy XP this week? Be careful what you wish for. I haven't seen Billy Billy in a while. Have you? Really makes you think. Is he alright? I wouldn't know. I haven't, I haven't seen them in a while. There's not, nothing untowards happened, I just... That hurt. Just genuinely, I, I hope they're okay. All I'm gonna say is it is a little suspicious that when Billy Billy stopped playing, Empty the Cup also stopped playing. This might be the run, because we have no scaling so far. This might be the run where you have to try a Doberman. Let me see what happens when it levels up. I don't think I've ever purchased one. So it doesn't give you extra coconuts on subsequent attacks, but it does give you a much bigger buff. Here's the thing. You're going to be like, why sell the peacock? I'd like to buy the Doberman just to save us the gold next turn rather than just wasting rerolls. And the peacock is not going to level because we have to sell our whole squad. The, Do the Doberman has to be our lowest tier unit. So we, I feel like doing it now makes the most sense. This is where like a banana into a pill would really hit the spot. Oh, we knew that was coming. This one. Oh, baby! <laughs> this is the luckiest draw of all time. Now, please give me a monkey. Wait, no matter what, we know we have to we have to start on winding. So I think you start here, and then honestly, we might there's no better time to sell the moth and the chinchilla. Because we have the space to get the gold out of it. So we might as well sell, 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 sell. I guess we you know what? Now I'm thinking. Level it up so we get another tier 5, and no matter what it is, just pop it on the squad. Oh! He's crazy! He's crazy! Sell me. I think, you, I think you probably sell your Toad, too, just to get the first activation on the Doberman. Why not, man? And then we're buffing the Doberman, buying the Seal... Buy in some garlic. Let's not be too picky. Let's add a cupcake to our seal to get some permanent stats too. And maybe this will hit the seal. Let's go. I, I honestly, it's a it's a bit crazy, but we're trying. It is a huge coconut. There's no doubt about that. Holy cow, it worked right off the pivot. I don't believe it. <laughs> that should be our worst turn, but we, got, we still got to get a tier 5. I don't know how that's going to happen, so here's what we're going to do. We can't add another tier 4. They'll, they'll screw each other up. I think you just buy the foods that you see. That's very nice. I appreciate that. Still keep you around. We got chocolate coming, so I think one salad frozen makes the most sense. Okay, okay. Oh, it's definitely, it's a harder cook than, than typical. My god, we won that one too. That's hard to believe. Now, we need tier fives. I don't think you, ha you're, you can afford to be too picky. <laughs> I think maybe you just... 
throw you onto the team? Hear me out here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't really care what you spit out. I, I, like, the 1-1 one, one buff in the seal is, is fine. But to get two units out of this definitely interests me more. And then we could also pill the beluga to get another monkey if we, if we thought it was apropos. Don't you motherfucking steal my coconut, you piece of crap. You, you piece of shit! I lose, uh, obviously, to... Well, we won anyway, but... Any raccoons, it's on site. At this point, I don't think we need to take a goat just to take a goat. Like, I think we can afford to roll a little bit. Goat is goaded? No, not really. Goat seal? Goat doesn't... Why, why, why does goat and seal have a bonus together? They don't. Goat monkey pill? What does that even... <laughs> I don't know. I'm just saying things. It's a free monkey? What are you talking about? It's a free monkey. We don't, have, we don't have a pill. It would be a free monkey as if there's a monkey in the shop. Then we would... But then that would still cost us three gold. What we have is a goat that costs three gold and then three more gold to put a banana on it, and then one more. We don't even have to, you don't even know what you're talking about, okay? Don't worry about it. We'll, we'll pill the beluga if we have to, but for now, it's the thinking man's engagement here. Here's the way I think we play it. I think we buff the seal, buy the beluga, and then we hope that the back beluga gets the salad. Oh! <laughs> Oh, yeah. So we're, we're spawning a bunch of units that we have no reason to be spawning. And then we can still get the level 2 Beluga. I don't care what gets spat out at all. No! Whatever. It's not that big of a deal. <clears throat> Holy cow. It's true that there are, there are many squads this week. We're basically like one big unit at the front and then scalers at the back. The coconut goes crazy. I would love a beluga that spits out a reindeer. I don't want to overwrite your banana, though. <laughs> so I'm like, I, I think we like blueberry. I don't know if there's a way to do this. I'm like, I okay, I think you have to... I want you to spit out a reindeer. So no matter what, let's... Garlic me. And then we can always drag you on top of you, which should keep the reindeer and the... and the garlic. To lose the banana would suck, but... Okay, let a man think for a second. I think here... You actually do better with a level two. Oh, but if we make the beluga eat the chocolate. Oh, dude, I got it. Hang on, hang on. This He's pausing, he's pausing. You level the Doberman naturally. Dude, maybe you just let, maybe you just combine your belugas and then put out a level two reindeer next turn instead of worrying about creating a level two reindeer out of a level two beluga. I think this, this seal is getting outclassed right now. Nice squad. <laughs> Value? I mean, you're sticking. Just give me a second here. So we gotta, you gotta go like that. And you should have a reindeer. That's perfect, okay. Then, I'm just stacking you out here. <laughs> and then, my word, these shops have been, have been absurd. 
I actually feel like the reindeer would benefit more from the buffs, but the thing is, I don't want to put it at the front right now because I think it gets blown out by a big Marty. So I think having it at, see right now it would have, maybe it wouldn't have died, but it would have come close. I think it actually will do better at like chunking through scalers like this. Yeah, like look at it, we, we won for one their big scaler. This is the, it's the way to do it, man. Then you'll spit out a level two reindeer. Holy bursh. Honestly, the seal is, is outclassed. I think you buff your monkey unless you get the chance to get a level two reindeer instead. Is actually just insane value. Look at this. Okay, that's that's a very strong beluga. But it didn't spit anything out. Oops. <laughs> Dude, this is crazy. This team is insane. Buy me? Roll me? Buy me? It is tempting, but I don't want you to spit out a level 3 llama. I want you to spit out a level 3 reindeer. I think honestly for now... Well, you know, you could always just chocolate a monkey and then be okay with that. Like, just blowing out their big unit is so freaking good. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. You really thought you had something! Now that was a team. And you know what? Obviously, you, you owe a lot of that to the Doberman and the most incredible shops of all time. You also owe a surprising amount to a level 3 chinchilla. Because that is... Uh, that's what kicked off the, the pivot. Ooh. I don't think Doberman can work on, on every squad, but it definitely, it worked on that squad, that's for sure. Hitman, not today. Tomorrow. The docket promised Sapienza. I don't write the docket. The docket is, is unaffiliated with me. You know, the, uh, and the Library of Laterno, you've done nothing wrong here. But did you, I was in Chibli's chat. Someone asked me, hey, what's up with the Library of Laterno's community post on YouTube today? I, I looked them dead in their username and said, how the fuck would I know? I don't, it's not like when you're making content, you, you pass it to me and I say, oh, I uh, rubber stamp, I approve, go ahead and post it. My ass getting harassed just as a as a viewer in someone else's stream about some shit I that I have no involvement with whatsoever. And then I said, what was the community post? And they said it was a screenshot of me saying Keck W. And I was like, well, what do you want me to say? I was I was Keck Wing. What do you what do you mean what's with the post? The post is I was laughing. What's the joke? I don't know. I didn't make the post. <laughs> My five-year-old son says, hey, we have to watch on mute so that I can't write because I swear from time to time. Well, I'll just do this. Hi. Hi. Yeah, drop some, drop some Charmanders in there. What's crazy about having a, a, a two-year-old is that, oh, there's a mage in here, right? Oh, where is he? Whoa! A five-year-old kid seems like so old to me. Like it, a five-year-old kid actually seems older than I am, which obviously makes no sense whatsoever. I don't have sufficient. I don't have sufficient skill to open a chest. Apparently, I don't know if other parents can relate. But uh, the same thing happened when we, uh, when we had our baby. I think it just honestly messes with your brain, which is like fairly sensible when you consider how much it like changes your life. But um, like you're in the hospital, all you see is your baby and other people's babies. 
You go look at yourself in the mirror after you go to the bathroom and you're like, holy shit, I am the biggest baby I've ever seen. No, no, no! I was hoping I would be able to scare him before he, before he did that attack. Okay, I'm getting my ass beat. Play with a little bit of patience. Remember that. Patience is a virtue. What the hell? You're just the strongest guy I've ever seen. By the way, I'm talking about catching strays. I mean, these are pretty minor strays. Chibli was streaming. So he said, what class does NL play in Dark and Darker? That's, there's a ranger in there. I don't even want to test him. Um, and then he said, I bet he plays a fighter. Someone in chat said he does, and he says I knew it. I used to play a fighter. Now I play a barbarian. Like, people are just out there, like, telling lies on the internet, just, just for humor's sake. It's crazy. A fine curious? I, oh, bro, the barbarian is so annoying. He literally can't wear anything. Play a cleric, pass it on. Hey, play a cleric, keep it going. Okay, I'm going to I'm going to force him to acknowledge me. And if he wants to kill me, then go ahead and kill me. Otherwise, we're cool. We're cool. We're cool. I'll even give as a token of my appreciation. Here's a flawed pattern gold bangle right here. Dude, he's even picking the lock. Well, if he's not taking it, I'm taking it. Get anything good, brother? Whoa, dude! No, 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 that's too much! Here, I'll trade you. Here, here, brother, come back, I've dropped you a flanged mace! Holy cow. If that's the stuff that he dropped, imagine the kind of shit he's got on his body. <laughs> I did watch the clip last night of like, <laughs> it's because he got posted on the subreddit. Here you go. Brother, here's a portal for you. Sorry. I'm on such low health. It had to be done. I'm so sorry. Get the fuck out, brother. He's got no nothing, nothing, nothing. I'm gone. <laughs> I'm gone. Dump this. Take this. Is this any good? No, I'm good. <laughs> the clip of, um... Oh, I think I hit him by accident. Of me killing the dude right as he was getting the portal, and it's so sad, like, he just kneels, there. He, he starts working on the portal with his two hands, and then, uh, I crack him once over the top of his head, and all the life leaves his body. The comments were cracking me up, man. They were like, look at him, he didn't, his expression didn't even change when he, when he killed his partner. <laughs> he's a, he's a stone-cold killer. You offered him the portal and then killed him for taking it? I didn't kill him for taking it. I killed him because I needed the portal in order to escape. There was no way I was getting out of there without, without a portal. Speaking of which, this one though? Sir, sir, there's a portal here for you. Whoa! It's a skeleton archer. We can get a skeleton archer. A skeleton archer does not does not make me afraid. Hey, hey, chill. Need to open this door though. He can't he can't fit it through. No shot. Clutch fear, by the way. I really appreciate that. Bro, can you move away from the door? You gotta prioritize the archer, sir. The circle. He got me. He got me pretty good. I can't see shit. I am taking the portal. Hello, 
Hello, Chibli. Act three, dude, act three started a little early today too. Don't be a hero, just... Oh, man. I would, I'd like to see my, my friend though. Was he, no, it wasn't you. Was it you? 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 Party of three? Wasn't you? <laughs> it's driving me crazy. Solo. Wait, where even are you? This shit. This shit is toxic, man. Look at this. Your barbarian got killed by another barbarian. That's a sad story. Great short stream yesterday, Chibli. Yeah, what it ended up being like 32 hours or something like that, right? I'm just going to say it. That's a little too long for me. I'm more in the short stream, 4 hours, 45 minutes, long stream, 5 hours and 5 minutes sort of situation. That's, that's, it's just my personal preference. But, you know, I, I'm not saying you shouldn't do it. I mean, I had a great time. I didn't get to watch all of the Defunctland the, the video either. Because I had to... Um, I had to put my daughter to, to bed. I just feel like my... Because everybody talks about how the Fast Pass has actually made things slower at Disney World. Two things. Is that true if you buy the Fast Pass? My, my second thing is... If they really want to optimize... the efficiency of getting on rides. Every time the roller coaster... And you could do this via an app to make it faster. Every time the roller coaster comes into the station and everybody gets off the roller coaster, they should do bidding for the seats. And then the, the 32 highest bidders should then get onto the roller coaster. It direct like debits the money out of whatever account they have connected to the app and then <laughs> just do an auction just the same way they do first class on the airplane now right horrible take well is it possible that if somebody wants to pay a thousand dollars to skip the three hour line for rise of the resistance they just want it more they got that dog in them I bid, I mean, not that I've been flying much recently. I bid on first class every single time. I know it's never going to be selected. If it's like a, a five-hour flight, I bid like 500 bucks for the first class update or upgrade. It's, I've, I've never even had them like send me an email that's like, thanks for your bid. I think that there are people out there who are like, I will pay two grand for, I will pay f like $400 an hour for first class, which is insane to me. You can catch my ass in coach. We got the same movies. I would also go to the Goblin Merchant and honestly, I'd purchase this and I, I, I just love, oh, why would I purchase this? <laughs> I already have, I already have. Well, you know what? We could use that next time. And then I'll buy the gloves. What kind of gloves? You, what the hell is this? He scammed me, dude! He gave me base loot! Took like half my net worth. The Gamba did not pay off. Oh, I, I didn't get hit. That's amazing. That's crazy. I'm so scared, dude. Please. It's so scuffed. I gotta go, dude. Like one second spent in the circle could probably kill me. That's a person. Okay, I don't, I'd rather deal with a potentially nice cleric than whatever the hell's going on the other side of that door. <laughs> Alright, I see how it is. He's definitely going off on me. 
<laughs> oh, 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 oh man, that was good. Oh. <laughs> okay, I'd like to not s hit the boss this time. That's kind of like a basic strategy, though. You know what's a basic strategy is um, shutting, the, shutting the hell up. That's another basic strategy. It's one of the most basic strategies in the game. He does, doesn't he do like a three-piece? I'm scared. Okay, you got me. I mean, I don't think we can take this guy. In fact, I know we can't take this guy. So let's run. Questions with threatening auras. NL, do you eat mushrooms a lot? As much as the average adult, I'd say, which is not that much. Motherfucker. I thought he would have lost interest in me by now. Okay. <laughs> He's still coming. Hello. This, I, I shouted just to scare him off. Wow, we, we are in the epicenter right now of the goblin caves. Door stuck. Door stuck. Door stuck. <laughs> okay, do not spawn me in that room anymore. You start on a bridge with no shield against 17 uh, goblin archers. And if you sneak out and go to another room, there's a boss in there and there's nothing you could do about it. You just got to kill him. Give me... Oh, I guess we could have just opened the door and then closed it. This, this is an extremely good point. I didn't really consider that. Okay, all of my money is gone. We literally can't play this six... Oh! He's trapped down there. I don't know. Why? Dude, probably clean your own mirror. Look at you got this guy coming after you. I did not deserve that. I get it. I scared him. Don't bite me. Oh my god. Take out this old battle axe. Where is the pot? The pot? I see the pot. Oh, you fucking idiot. Jesus Christ, man. It's good to play the barbarian right now. I, I give it a 0% chance that this is not buffed. This class, that is, is not buffed in the next update. Oh my god. The weapons don't fucking swing in tunnels. There are no tunnels. Or the, the whole game is tunnels, is what I mean to say. Your weapons bonk on absolutely everything. And none of the loot applies to you. Fighter's the way to be, man. Maybe I should run a fighter instead. This might be a great example of the sunk cost fallacy. Because I'm like, as a barbarian, I'm like, I can't stop. I'm level 10. Admittedly, the playtest is time limited, but still. Yeah, I think we should do fight. I just feel, oh, there's a barbarian up there. <laughs> he must be ass like me, please. Any portals in here? Oh! 15 seconds. Just chill. Three seconds. There's a potion too. Oh! I'm trapped! <laughs> I got 
trapped on the barrel. Oh, you did? You never do a box jump or something? Just jump over it. Ah, uh, that would have been a good time for an invis potion. No, I'm I'm getting out, dude. Forget the barbarian in solo. You need to be able to clean your own mirror. Give me a fighter. We'll call him. Um, Fight and fighter. Two. <laughs> we have none gold, and it, it doesn't bother me because we have a shield. Then try and give me a shield in the in the caves. And he can actually wear armor and like use weapons. Omega lull. What do you have against wizards? Blue players in Magic the Gathering. Blue players be like, what's wrong with blue? You don't like games where only I have fun? Aren't you a blue player? No, I don't play Magic the Gathering. I, you know what? I'm going back to Barbarian. It takes too long to open these barrels. <laughs> wow, look at that. We got some gear immediately that we can use. Gear that actually fits into your item slots. Who would have thought? Face me. How dare you break wind before me? I'm sorry, baby. I didn't know it was your turn. Most engaging combat of the year. <laughs> this, I mean, Dark and Darker, it has no business being as fun as it is. Because, like, mechanically, it's, I don't want to say it's bad, because that's not what I'm trying to say. But mechanically, is like, it's not great. Like, no one would, what, he hates light? Oh, he hates fire. No one would ever be like, wow, the combat in Dark and Darker is, like, amazing. Where are you going? Get back here. It, that's a good way to describe it. It does sort of play like it's the first video game that's ever come out. Oh, fuck you. But something about the overall experience is just like, um is elevated by the simplicity to some extent. Hello. Oh, yeah, yeah. Here, I don't I don't really have any loot for you, but we can we can venture forth together if you'd like. Just don't do me a favor, don't crack me on the top of the head. You got your watch out. You got your you got your <laughs> Okay, legitimately, that is not my fault at all. That was the barb with the most situational awareness I've ever seen. Voip on, you could have warned her. Yeah, and then they could have, like, you know, dropped a racial slur and gotten me banned from my job for, like, 24 hours or something like that. So, this is a, you ever hear of something called risk management? It's not merely something that, um... Yeah, why not? That um, Ben Stiller does as a job in the movie uh, Along Came Polly. It's a genuine discipline. Please do not call me a milf. That's an insult to mothers everywhere. Even if you would like to F me, okay? I think it's one of the great shames of society that Dilf never caught on. I'm not suggesting I am one. That's really, I, it's, a, it's a you issue, one way or the other, whether you do or you don't. Instead, we got, we got daddy and, and like, I guess zaddy, even though I don't fully understand what zaddy is. I think zaddy is maybe, that's like a, a, a large daddy. 
My my companion must have perished, huh? Uh oh. Zaddy is a young daddy. What about a daddy who wasn't there to, to take me to the fair? Or to change my underwear? I'm not a stepdad. I'm a dad who stepped up. I don't want to... Listen, Niantic. I have gone off on Niantic haters all the time, okay? People literally, like, get into Pokemon Go because they're like, oh, I'd like to incentivize, like, doing out exercise outdoors. Just some light, low aerobic exercise outdoors. Six months later, their ass is like, Niantic, excuse me, when are you going to bring back the old adventure box? This current adventure box is not worth it. Six regular incubators? What happened to four super incubators, two regular incubators, and then 20 ultra balls? Anyway, re return me to the lobby. But Niantic, I have not caught a, a non-community day shiny in months. I'm, I'm not even catching any, any three stars, really. And I'm out there. I'm putting, I'm putting miles on. I'm, I'm, I beat Giovanni again yesterday. How did you get to Pokemon Go from the dad who stepped up? Because somebody tweeted me, have you seen the new Pokemon Go? I wouldn't expect you to know this, by the way. They tweeted me the new Pokemon Go loading screen that uh, has like the big uh, Pokemon with his back turned to the camera and on his shirt, they, uh, they photoshopped it so that it says, I'm not a stepdad, I'm the dad who stepped up. Pokemon Go, by the way, remains like the greatest mobile game to play if you don't actually wanna play a game. And I don't think it's even close. It is still a, a huge battery drain. Okay, true. I've been anti-backseating lately. Stashing the gold is, is one of the many exceptions to the rule. <laughs> that one's very important. I appreciate that. But like, an a hour-long walk outside, it's fine. You maybe listen to some music or some podcasts, enjoy the weather or something. But like an hour-long walk with Pokemon Go... Oh, man, it feels like it's done in like five minutes. It ruins your brain, too, because you're like, I can't go home yet. I, I could just catch three more uh, bell sprouts. And then I and then you're like, wait, what am I doing? I'm as soon as my my gameplay loop, catch a bell sprout. Look at its stats. If it's not uh, perfect, immediately send it to the grinder. <laughs> what if it's perfect? I mean, I, I have a few perfects. I'm gonna my my prized Pokemon Go possessions. As sad as it is to say, I have a perfect shiny Gyarados. Wait, no, I, it's not shiny. I have a perfect Gyarados, and then this is the one. And I've just been simmering on this. I need to put this in the safety deposit box. I have, and please do not try to steal it from me. I have a shiny, uh, what's the word? <laughs> Shadow Charmander. So I had to get it from killing one of the Team Rocket mini bosses. And then on top of that, it's shiny, which is probably like without boosted odds. I don't know. It must have been like one in 50 or something like that. Now his stats are ass. So I've been trying to find somebody that also has a shiny shadow. You can't trade shadows? No, you can trade. They're just special trades, right? Listen, I don't get... I don't get too involved in the minutia of Pokemon Go. You can't? You have to purify them? Well, I don't want to purify them. Then it's just a shiny Charmander, which is like... It's not nothing, but like, who cares? Well, you basically just ruined my day. It's not your fault, but I'm like, I'm not very happy right now. <laughs> Go off on Niantic again? Why wouldn't they let you trade a, a shadow Pokemon? I guess it's like too much like selling livestock. Cause you're like, oh, this is like, this Pokemon is like beyond saving. 
but I'll, uh, you know, you can take them for a good price. <laughs> I guess I'll just turn it into a, into a shadow Charizard. Anyway, this is, these are my thoughts on Pokemon Go. I know not everybody's into it. It's pretty good, though. It's a pretty fun time. I think the trick with Pokemon Go is the trick to, like, most games. Fuck you. Which is, like, just don't get too into it. Literally just play it when you're outside. And then if you ever find yourself being like, what was Niantic thinking? Uninstall it from your phone. Just a nice walk enhancer. Like sesame oil. Just came from YouTube. Why do you sometimes upload episodes out of order? Is this that quiet quitting thing people have talked about? This is the third time I held up two fingers. This is the third time you've written that message in the last 60 minutes. You better be at your job right now. Because if you're not getting paid to waste your time like this, you're not optimizing your life appropriately, okay? You uploaded the wrong episode of Hitman? Yeah, that's fine. It's it. Listen, there's no continuity in the Hitman episodes because I die in like every third mission. <laughs> I'll, I'll make more of an effort to get them up uh, in order, but like, the problem is I give them like clickbait names and then I forget which episode came first. Quiet quitting is the best thing NL has taught me. I honestly appreciate that, Chibli. It's not really, like I don't consider what I'm doing right now to be quiet quitting. I consider it to be like, um, I guess here's the way I think of it. If I stream the way I stream right now, I think I could do it, I can't believe you got me, for the rest of my life. I'm, I'm optimized for long-term mental health. If I stream like the streamers who are like, every stream has to be an event, every, I'm, I'm organizing a $250,000 Fortnite tournament like once a month, excuse me, Mr. Lude, my ass will be done I mean, you know, most of those guys, they're retiring at like 32 or something like that, you know? Which, it, and they, they worked for it. Hello. So I'm not disrespecting him. Okay, he's just going off. He's going to run out of stamina. <laughs> Return me to lobby. I, I think they were probably close. I'm optimized for, for long-term, I don't even want to say survivability, because I think that's more up to the, the viewers. But this is something, I, I look at it like I could do it into my 60s if I had to. That's not quiet quitting. Quiet quitting for me is when people start their stream at 8, have like a two-hour long stream is starting soon screen, and then, like, by the time they go live, they're like, sorry, guys, I haven't even eaten breakfast yet. And you're like, what the fuck are you doing? Then, they, yeah, what, like, just eat a bowl of cereal like, while, like, watching React content, which also is, is some of the best content to watch. I'm not saying it's not good content. I'm just saying it's, like, you're not really putting in, like, a lot of effort, which, again, is fine. I'm just, I'm not trying to listen. It's the worst content on Twitch. I definitely feel like React content is like... Fuck. <laughs> Good, goodbye. <laughs> I think it's better than gaming, for sure, a lot of the time. Like, I would... Here's... My, my hierarchy is like... Incredible streams. Highly planned, like, you know, Germa-style, dollhouse-type streams. Right below that, any of my friends streaming, then React content, and then below that is gaming while not uttering a single word. That's, that's my hierarchy. I do, I, I mean, listen, you can disagree with me. You can, you can tell me to go die or whatever. I find it funny when people are like, no... Dude, React content is so lazy. Can you play League of Legends and bite your lips for 45 minutes and not read any message that chat says while we type about how someone's coming to gank you mid because we saw it on the minimap? Like, I would definitely 
I would definitely rather watch someone react to TikToks because at least the TikToks are funny. He's saying what we all want to say. Okay, I've lost all my momentum as a fighter, though. The, the most based thing is to try hard, for sure, as a streamer. The second most based thing is to embrace your role as second monitor, like, white noise, and just not get a big head, I think, and be like... Like, that's how I feel when people ask me questions about, like, my content planning. They're like, what are your thoughts on Q3 this year? And I'm like, brother, I don't even know... I don't even know what I'm eating for lunch today. The awkward middle is where things are, are weird for me. Where people are like, you know, and I, I don't get me wrong, I've, I've been self-important about my, my little uh, hustle here, but when, when people take their stream insanely seriously, but then also it's like, not high effort. <laughs> now I'm like, no, it makes me sound like the biggest hater of all time, which I don't know, might be true. Maybe not the biggest hater. Like, Chib, I, listen, I know you can't say it because you like to have friends, but I can say it because even if I had friends, if they invited me to things, I would be like, I can't go. I have a kid. So... I like one of the things that always I, I don't know I just it, it, I, I don't want to say it's easy to make fun of but it kind of makes me laugh is like at some point a streamer tweeted like hey just so you guys know like if you put a link to your stream in your tweet Twitter doesn't show it to as many people it gets like buried by the algorithm and then like every tweeter started or every streamer started tweeting like my stream starting now link in bio and I'm like brother even if somehow your tweet about going, that just says going live, gets sucked into the algorithm, it's not like people are gonna click it, like they, that don't know who you are to begin with. Like what's the, it's not like, it, it, like they're gonna see a tweet from a streamer they don't know and be like, oh, holy shit, like somebody's live on Twitch right now. Who would have thought? You might as well just put a link so that the people who actually follow you on Twitter can, like, you know, easily click a button and be like, hey, my, my dude's live. But again, I, it's well known that I'm a hater. And there's possibly perspectives that I'm not considering. Why are your takes so right? Probably because, like, you're predisposed to, like, agree with me because you watch my stream and as a result, you, and I've been doing this for a long time, so you think like inherently I have like, you know, like it's an appeal to authority or something like that, but I, and I, listen. <laughs> Hello. I have, I have no quarrel with you. Are we friends? Could, we could be friends. Here, I gotta just get over this if you don't mind. Oh, watch out. Oh, what happened to this ranger, dude? He's kidded? I'm about to get shot in the fucking head. He's bandaging? That means he's weak. <laughs> Where are you going? Where are you going? Get back here! Oh! Let's go! Goodbye, cruel world. Not even looting his corpse. I didn't have time, man. I could have died in the fucking circle. Ow! Let me get get me out of here. Open the door. Don't don't take a swing at me. You come over here, you take a swing at me. You flash a piece on the lanes, I'll take it from you. I'll pull the trigger till it goes click. We just gotta go. Forget about the goblins. Pray they don't get to you. Close the damn door. We got in. Oh, fuck. Oh, no! <laughs> Punched in the head and killed. 
that's for your link in the bio take. People are just doing their best to make it in a on a platform where discoverability is really limited. I know, I'm just saying, like, it just doesn't, for me, it just doesn't stand up to the smell test. I would rather reward my loyal viewers by putting a link to the, to the stream in the tweet. But then I'm the biggest hypocrite of all because I don't even tweet that I'm live anymore just because I'm like, you know, I don't know. You know I'm here. It's not really laziness. It's just that, like, when is tweeting ever done anything? I, I think I got to start treating Twitter like a professional athlete. And just like literally tweet like three sponsored posts um, a year and nothing else. You ever see Bo Horvat's Instagram? Shit'll be like one post six months ago. Hey guys, athletic greens are on sale at all GNC nutrition stores. Go juice yourself up. One month ago. Hey guys, I just got a new tea. You get the idea. Friends? Friendly? <laughs> no, no, no. If we're gonna kill him, it's not gonna be yet. Let him filter the loot for us first, and then... <laughs> Ooh. I don't kill everybody I come across. Like, I'm getting a bad reputation. I do do some killing, for sure. Do you hear that? Somebody just cloaked around us, brother. He's leaving me out to dry. He's not leaving me out to dry. He's a good guy. You went out of your way to kill a guy only to die to the circle? I didn't go out of my way to kill a guy. He was, he was using a bandage which projected weakness. It was the right time to strike. Whoa, let's go! The gang's all here. My kill, my kill. Yeah, 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 we're all cool, we're cool. The problem is there's so few portals on this map that I think we pretty much gotta like... I mean, if we see a portal, we gotta go for it. And if they come for us, then we go. Psh. Should I open the door? Oh, let's let's follow our friend. He's over here. <laughs> Nothing. Okay. Now. Now what do you do? Go find your other friend. Okay, sorry, sorry. Dude, all right, dude, we got ganked, we got fucking ganked, dude. Somebody, <laughs> whoa, a ranger. Rush him, rush him, rush his ass. There's no escape down here. Get him. I've chosen poorly. He's hitting the door. We gotta get, get safe in the circle. Don't chase him. Dude, the, the ranger, the ranger was malicious. That's a given. The cleric, I'm just gonna say it, okay? It's probably not gonna make anybody like thrilled. For the cleric, there's just not going to be enough portals, okay? We had to we had to thin the numbers a little bit. <laughs> this guy, I'm not going to kill him cuz we got to we need him to kill the ranger. Hey, hey. Friendly, friendly. Whoa! Unfriendly. Oh shit. Friendly? <laughs> Wait, uh, the ranger died. F 
Fighter killed Ranger? Ranger killed Fighter! Not friendly? Friendly? Okay, brother, let's do this. You and me both. Hey! You- You want that one? There's another one down here. You could- you could take- as you please, sir, as you please. Dude! Perfectly played instance! The dark grows darker. There were only two portals at the end, man. If we had the cleric, if we had the cleric, we had one too many. You're still a monster. Stop gaslighting me, I believe you. That's why I loved the thread last night that was like, look at his expression didn't even change when he, when he bonked that dude on the head. I did like, someone also said, um, I know it's just a game, but this clip genuinely made me sick to my stomach. It's so funny. There is something about, like, even though it's digital and the game does not look photorealistic, the dude just hit, getting conked on the head and all life leaving his body immediately, there's something so, like, barbaric about it. Doesn't feel nice to see. But sometimes it feels... I wouldn't even say it feels nice to do. I would simply say... It's a doggy dog world out there. I guess that's what I'm trying to say. I hope that he knows that I'm not just some common rogue. I didn't kill him to get his loot. I killed him because I thought that it raised our chances of escaping, okay? Do not lump me in with the common rogues. If you see NL, it's on site. It's not on site. My goal is not to betray trust. If there's, if there's two people and we're both bringing value to the group, then that's great. If there's two people and I'm doing all the fucking work <laughs> and there's not enough portals for everybody, like I don't set out looking for an opportunity to betray. Oh, I remember this. This is where I thought about betraying this guy. Please go fight the troll. Sane is chatter. Hey, I know you've got like default gear right now that fucking blows. You can't even kill like a single goblin. Any chance you go fight the boss right now? I mean, if you if you like seeing me die in the game, great potion by the way. Just just wait for like thirty seconds. It's it's on route, brother. Hello, sir. Yeah, yeah, friendly. Just checking. Okay, he's, he, he didn't immediately run after me to try to kill me. He's just, he's just cracking pots. Not good. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, as soon as I... You're right, you should never bandage in front of somebody unless you're in a squad. Because he... I projected weakness. I, I hate to say it, you're absolutely correct. There's a lever on the floor. Yeah, I say lever. You got a problem? Canada's in a weird spot where we're culturally most influenced by the United States, but also, like... There's a lot of, like, uh... British influence as well. I really thought that you would take one more hit. So we're we're kind of like you know we're in the middle, like like Jimmy Eat World. But you also hate the U.S. That's not completely true. I think Canada has some resentment to the U.S. because it feels bad that like we know so much about America. And Americans oftentimes know, like, I mean, like, I'm just going to say it. I don't, I don't expect Americans to know everything about Canada. Like, there's, there's some asymmetry in terms of our cultural output. That's not even up for debate. What I will say is that, like, if you don't know the capital of the country, that's just disrespectful. Like, we're right next door. 
Or like when Canadian or when Americans don't know like your current head of state, like that's the kind of stuff that gives you a bad rap. Because you're like, um, Canadians know so much about America. They watch American movies. They watch American TV. They, they might even follow American news more than they follow Canadian news. But just expect like, like just give us, throw us one bone in return. That's it. Justin Bieber is from your country. Listen, I'll take it. <laughs> Isn't that Katy Perry? It's a, it's a different song. Animal Collective has one too. That's honestly, I can never choose between the, the Pitbull one and the Animal Collective one. I guess if I push comes to shove, I would probably give it to Animal Collective. Ooh, the long way! Goblin going down the ramp the long way. By the way, someone right before that situation popped off. Some, somebody said, I'm beginning to hate millennials more than boomers. Don't put that evil on me, please. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm died. I died. <laughs> Turn the lobby. I'm died. One bug, man. Press E. I didn't have my. I never used my heal. Oh. As a self-hating millennial, boomers are worse. I don't know. Like I'm not talking about on a generational sense. I'm talking about just as like a um. Just as a human being. Like, if you, if I'm, <laughs> I don't know why that's somehow more offensive. Everybody sucks here? Well, I feel like <sighs> the stereotype of boomers is that boomers are, like, out of touch. They're like, if I wanted a job, I would simply put on a suit, walk into a store, and hand my resume to the manager. If you did that for a week, I'll tell you, you probably have bosses lining up to, to hire you. Millennials are, and I say this as one, we're annoying. I feel like we get typecast or stereotyped as being annoying. Like we're, um, because of participation trophies that we got when we were kids and stuff like that. But I actually just find this annoying that like, I mean, millennials legit will say stuff like, this is my third once-in-a-lifetime recession. And like in the first, I, I've said it myself. The first recession, my ass was in like my second year of university. Like that shit did not impact me at all. Hold on, let me, let me drop this. You say it all the time. Listen, usually I say it as a joke, okay? Usually. It's a stereotype of millennials. I wouldn't say it's entitled. Maybe, maybe, like overly sarcastic and complainy might be. And I and listen, I know it's a pot calling the kettle black, but those are the things I see in myself that I don't like as well. I don't actually have that many like old man takes yet, so I must not be that old. I definitely do have, uh, and and I don't think this is generational. I do think, listen, okay, I'm trying to figure out how to, let, let me, instead of starting with my opinion, let me illustrate this with a story. That way, you'll, you'll get my opinion without me having to stumble over the words. When I was at the Canucks game, uh, almost two weeks ago now, there were people in my section that literally had their phone out, like, watching the game through their phone, filming the game on their phone, not just like one highlight or like one face off to be like, check it out, I'm at the game. They filmed like the whole period. I've, I've sat next to people that like streamed the game from their phone to Facebook Live, which is just like mind boggling because it's the worst possible like camera shot you could get and you could just watch it on TV. And you're like, what are you? 
Like, what are you expecting to get out of this? And it's like, uh, whatever generation is responsible for that, I think it's all generations. I would love it if that shit stopped. Because that is, I mean, it, it shouldn't annoy me because it doesn't affect me. But it does annoy me. <laughs> I, I think people are overly harsh on people using their phone in situations where using your phone makes a lot of sense. Like if you're on the train or something and you get mad that somebody's using their phone, you're an idiot. Or if you're like at a restaurant and you're using your phone by yourself, who cares? I don't want to go this way. Probably the conductor should not be doing it. That's, but they just don't drive themselves, basically, right? Maybe the conductor's okay to use it. But, like, when I see people, like, at an event, and the event itself should be, like... Like, they bought tickets for the game, they got a babysitter or something, they cleared their schedule, and then they're like, I'm gonna, like, not actually watch the game, I'm gonna just stream the worst camera angle possible to Facebook Live. I'm like, you can... You gotta like live in the moment, at least a little. You don't have to live in the moment like at all times. Oh, this dude is dead. I gotta see this. Oh, I think he might have gotten away. I guess it is like it's slightly an old man take. I guess the the take that I'm trying to get to is whenever like if somebody films a moment from an event on their phone or they take a picture of their food at a restaurant or something like that, just to have like a moment where they're like, I was here, they have a memento, they have a trinket, right? That's, that it seems cool to me. I'm not trying to kill you, I'm trying to be friends. Yeah, let's be friends. But like when they watch the whole event through their phone, like, like who on earth is still, did I just kill somebody? I think I just killed a rogue behind me. <laughs> oh man, let's go. Thank you, sir. Thank you for your heal. I don't know if it worked, but thank you nonetheless. You want to loot the body a little bit? I don't want to show weakness before him. All I'm saying is I, I, I still lose my mind when I see people film like an entire concert or like performance or something like that. And I'm like, you're not watching that. This shit is like, it's the worst audio quality of all time. There's like a, so the back of someone's head directly in front of you when you're filming it. Like take a nice, take the time to pose. Get a nice picture that says, you know, here I am at like the Christmas market or something like that. You don't have to film the whole merry-go-round ride. Like that's... That's just silly. I have, honestly, I want I want people to think that I'm a nice guy. Thank you, sir. So if there's a portal here, this cleric has done nothing to me. He can take it. Whoops. <laughs> he cast on me for some XP. I could use some health. Maybe he's probably out of spell cast. Two more should open up before the end. One person escape portal has appeared. He's going straight for it. Please, but no, no, t for you, sir, for you, for you. For me. Don't be scared, Mini-Me. <laughs> what? What?
Dude, I had one hit point left. If I... <laughs> if I started to work on the portal, he could have hit me on the head and then killed me and taken all my shit. I'm fully acknowledging I'm making this... Because, like, every person that I do that to is definitely making... Like, they're going to think twice about being nice next time they're in the game. So it is, like, I, I certainly acknowledge that I am making this game more ruthless online. In, in my own small way. I can't deny that. On the other hand, I think it's funny to be, like, a, like a pretty nice guy IRL. Like, I signal, I let people in in traffic, I give them the wave, etc. You know, I, I, I try to show up for things except for my own stream on time and stuff like that. I respect other people's time and, and how limited it is. Um, and then just being like a fucking psycho in Dark and Darker. It feels good. It feels good to let the id take control for a little bit. <laughs> you know what it is? Is that like almost every other PvP game is basically just like who's closer to 17 years old you win the game because you got like supernatural reflexes and you know you haven't had your collegiate experience yet that's dulled your neurons and stuff like that this pvp experience actually lets you be like a little bit like there's a social aspect but it's not like among us you you can be a little bit of a of a bastard and i gotta say it feels damn good Go kill the boss. I have a, a common falchion. I don't, I don't I don't have the stones. You know what? I should have done it when I had that cleric last time. I bet we could have done it. He was a real bro. Whatever happened to that guy? Come this way. You idiot. True strike. <laughs> My true strike. Hops? Oh, dude! Did you see that? That was incredible. Whoa! Did you see that? I'm crazy! I don't want to be in here. I want to be in here. I have no quarrel with you. He's at least he, oh, listen. Let's get let's get loud then. He said, "Don't come this way. Come this way." Okay, I'll come this way. I'm in. Did you see that coming? Is there something going on over here? This is. Where I do you see this this guy? I killed a death beetle. Are you impressed? Look at this. Look at this death beetle, dude. I killed this thing. Okay, we're going this way. <laughs> run, run, run. I, I heard a portal. I wanted to create some space. I wanted to scare him a little bit so he didn't come after me. He's casting buffs on himself. I'm gone. I'm already gone. I'm already gone. The greatest strategic mind in in dark and darker history. Okay, let's see what happens to this guy. Let's see if if we'd been on the other side of the equation. He's pretty kid. Look. Oh my God. Look at his inventory, dude. That's crazy. I think this guy's toast. It's a pretty incredible move. <laughs> this inventory looks like a spreadsheet. There might be one more portal coming. Let's see. What? How is what I did slimy at all? Listen, I'm not the world's most masculine man, 
But if I was on like American Gladiators and it was the game where you have to knock the other person off the pillar, I feel like half of the people in chat are like, no, I'll just jump off the pillar. Oh, no, I'd like, like the only one of us can make it out of this. Like you guys, where's, where's your fighting spirit? I had no choice. There was one portal. I, I went Hunger Games on him. Wow. It's a sad story. I'm a damn genius. <laughs> it was him or me. And I didn't even kill him. If some way he could have lived in the, in the gas, then he would have been fine. Oh, baby. Take the pants off. Whoa, speak dude, what is going on? Is it is it Keanu week on movie to movie? We're exclusively getting 2010's Keanu Reeves movie re movies. This might be like 2009 now that I think about it, but okay. Hunger Games to the day the earth stood still. The only person I know in the day the earth stood still is Keanu Reeves. But I do know that this shit was filmed in Vancouver for sure. So how do we get from Keanu or from from Hunger Games to Keanu. I'm thinking. We've had a lot of Keanu recently. What's the movie that we've been connecting? We've been, or the people have been connecting through Knock Knock, which has Ana de Armas in it. I don't know if we're going to get there from the Hunger Games easily. I'm thinking Elizabeth Banks. I'm thinking Jennifer Lawrence. I'm thinking um, Liam Hemsworth. I'm thinking Woody Harrelson. I'm thinking Donald Sutherland. Why don't, you, why don't you try the daily challenge? Why don't you click on me here? Of course, I forgot about Josh Hutcherson. I forgot about Lenny Kravitz. And of course, Stanley Tucci. Feeling like Stanley Tucci to Margin Call or... Because Margin Call has um, Zachary Quinto. It has Paul Bettany. It has um, Jeremy Irons. It has Demi Moore. Surely Keanu and Demi have been in a movie together. But then also, well, now I'm like Wes Bentley. Wes Bentley's ass was in American Beauty with Kevin Spacey, who is probably in a movie adjacent to Keanu Reeves. And I'm like, Woody Harrelson. Okay, Woody Harrelson, No Country for Old Men, takes you to Tommy Lee Jones, which takes you to either Harrison Ford or Will Smith, which doesn't get us there. Woody Harrelson takes you to Josh Brolin from No Country for Old Men. Josh Brolin, I don't know what that takes you to. Marvel, it takes you to a Marvel dead end. Liam Hemsworth, Josh Hutcherson, Jennifer Lawrence. Here's how I'm doing this. I'm going Tucci. It's probably not the most efficient. I'm going Margin Call just because it's a great movie. From Margin Call, we're going Demi Moore for some reason. And then we're scrolling down into the 1990s. Oh, excuse me. Sorry, she's not naked. I saw that at the video store. No, Keanu was in a movie with Winona Ryder. Hey, hold on. This is an ensemble cast. Bobby's an ensemble cast. What have I done? Lawrence Fishburne was in Bobby, dude! I did not know that. That's a damn dream come true. Holy... I knew it was an ensemble cast, though. I mean, these Keanu ones are getting tough, man. Hunger Games, Stanley Tucci, Margin Call, Demi Moore, Bobby, Lawrence Fishburne, Matrix Reloaded, Keanu Reeves... That was pretty good. That's par. And I connected through the second best Matrix movie. He's also... Oh, oh, you're right. Hunger Games, Jennifer Lawrence, Passengers, Lawrence Fishburne, Matrix Revolutions, Keanu Reeves, uh, The Day the Earth Stood Still. There's, there's a birdie line for you. Well, anyway, I'm going to send you over to uh, my wife's stream, and I'll see you tomorrow. We'll play some... We'll play some Hitman tomorrow. For sure. Later. Took my bike.
to the lake. Brought my shovel, brought my rake. Took my boy to the swing. Let him swing, let them ring. Bought my friends Italian beef. Make them fart and make them queef. Abraham Lincoln was governor here. Only a steel man can be loved. Do you know what I'm talking about? Sufjan Stevens?